Okay, Coach, this is a big day for me. This is stage one of Rafa Rising, and I got to go up the Alp. Do you have any advice for me, Coach? Really? He's getting there? Okay, Assistant Coach Brian, I'm going up the Alp, and Coach Morgan said that you had advice for me. What do you got? Okay, well, nice try. I don't think that will help, but thanks anyway. Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Linda. Welcome to Zwifting with Granny and Coach Morgan at ACB Assistant Coach Brian. Well, today is Friday, February 25th. This is day one of the Rafa Rising Challenge. Oh, it's going to be 9,600 feet of elevation over the next today and next two days. I want to thank ConvexServe who made this channel possible so that I could actually do this. Without them, this channel would not be. So please go see ConvexServe for all your computer needs. Now, I'd also like to thank the company that I work for. I work for a great company. The name is EES Cosmetic Solutions. It's owned by Ed and Ellen Shack EES. Uh, now, ladies, don't get all excited. We don't sell cosmetics. We represent companies that make raw materials that go into end products you see on the shelves. We represent companies like IOI who make oleos and esters, BPM who makes bentonites, Draco who has hyaluronic acid and natural extracts, ADP who makes UV filters so that products can have SPF in them, we have Venator TiO2, we have polar extracts that has uh, CBD isolate. So we have a wide range of products that we represent. Now, the owners, Ed and Ellen, and their son-in-law, who is the general manager, Nick Muller, they're all runners. They also work out. Ellen does Peloton. So they're very supportive of my channel and what I'm doing here. And we're more than happy to give me the day off to, to do this. Now, <laughs> Coach Morgan. Coach Morgan has a history at EES. She used to work security. She was very scary. She would scare everyone that came in by jumping on them and asking them to pet her. But every once in a while, we go back and we visit and she has to visit everyone. I mean, everyone. She has to go in every office and say hi to everyone. <laughs> I've worked for the company for over 15 years. I was their first employee. The company's really grown since then. And I'm glad for them because they are really good people. Actually, actually, let, let me tell you a story. When I was there a few years, I didn't have a road bike at the time. I had a road bike. It was my original racing bike from the 70s, which at the time was over 40 years old and needed a lot of work. I couldn't ride it. And then I had a low-end Trek mountain bike that I used to ride, but I'm really a roadie at heart. And I used to go to Beechwood Bikes in Beechwood, New Jersey, and look at the specialized Dolce's. I don't know what it was about that bike. There were more expensive bikes, but that bike, I don't know. I just was so drawn to the specialized Dolce. And I used to talk to an associate of ours out in California, who was also a cyclist, and we would talk bikes. And I probably broke his ear talking about the specialized Dolce. So, one day, Ed and Ellen, since they knew I'm into bikes, they asked me to go to Beachwood Bikes with them to pick out a bike for their son, Josh. Now, any chance to go to Beachwood Bikes, I was going to grab onto. So, we walk in, and I'm all ready. I'm like, hey, Josh, let's go look at bikes. And instead, Ed goes to the front counter, and he pulls a piece of paper out of his pocket, and he hands it to the owner behind the... the counter and he says we'd like to buy this bike for this young lady I can't tell the story without getting choked up and he pulls out a picture of specialized Dolce that he had you know downloaded printed out from online I was hysterical <laughs> I was uh, dumbfounded 
that they, I said, why? They said, we just value you and, you know, we want to do this for you. And that bike, I think on the way home, I must have pulled over five times to look at the bike in the back of the car. Now, I put over, easily over 26,000 miles on that bike since I've had it. When Hurricane Sandy hit, I put all my important things in the car. My dog then, Emma, I put all her stuff in the car. I put a few changes of clothes in the car. And also, the Dolce went in the car. I was hunkering down at work where they had a basement, so if I had to use it because I was in a flood zone. So that's how much that bike means to me. Now, that, that bike really changed my life. It's the bike I'm on right now uh, to, to do Zwift on. This bike feels like home to me. This bike ain't going nowhere. When I die, this bike gets buried with me. So anyway, I just wanted to give a, a shout out to, to my company, EES Cosmetic Solutions, because I feel like without them, I, I, I wouldn't have this channel either. So anyway, with all that being said, huh, here we are warming up. I have 22, 23 minutes until I hit the Alp. And uh, I am really nervous today. Really, really nervous because this is going to start a weekend of climbing. I feel like I'm okay. I had a good night's sleep. I had some raisin bread about an hour ago. I have my cyst gels. I even have the disgusting cola ones here that have caffeine in them if I need them. But I also have Altoids sitting here. So I can get rid of the taste of, I don't know, dead sand in my mouth. It's horrible. But anyway, I have that. Two water bottles, my Fig Newtons. I should be all set for a morning of pain. I'll see you at the start line. Well, here I am in the pen. And uh, I told everybody I will be in the back at the pace of a dead snail if anyone wants to ride with me. And I see that, what I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget it. Danielle Pratt and, see I forgot it already. Where are you Debbie? Debbie, Debbie Davies uh, are watchers of the channel and that's pretty cool. Apparently there are some other people here who will be doing the dead snail pace as well. This jersey is really pink. Look at the socks. Oh. Well, I don't have to wear the socks. I think the hat is pretty good, the cap I'll wear. But you know what? If I make it through these three days, I'm wearing this freaking pink jersey anyway. I'm just gonna concentrate on the black part of the pink jersey. I am. Where's Granny? <laughs> right here, exclamation point. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you, people. That is Colin Bradley. Thank you, Colin. It's amazing. The Zwift community is an amazing bunch of people. They are very supportive. And the Zwift YouTube community. We all are there for each other. It's so cool how we all watch each other's channels, subscribe to each other's channels. We all support each other. Oh my God, I'm so I'm tired. No, I'm not tired. I'm used to saying that. I'm wide awake. I had a good night's sleep. I had a couple of pieces of raisin bread a few, well, an hour ago. I'm so nervous I can't even figure out my words. I have my black to go on my legs. I have my Hello Blue Muscle Butter Active on my knees. I am on the Specialized Athos. 
and whatever the the CX wheels, whatever they are, and they are the lightest other than the Meilensteins for hills, so I chose those. I'm sorry if I'm really scattered. I'm really nervous about this weekend, but I just have to keep it in mind. It's one pedal stroke at a time. I am going to take all the breaks I need to take. If I need to take four breaks on this, I will. Last time I did this, it took me three and a half hours total. That's fine. It takes me four hours total. That's fine. Oof. Oh my gosh. Oh, good grief. Oh, I think the cap might be pink. Not black. Well, never mind about the cap. If it was black, I'd be happy. Well, so far I'm with the pack. I am not rushing here at all. By the way, people, feel free to fast forward through to the video. It's going to be very long. Just fast forward through it to the parts you want to see. I don't blame you. I do the same thing myself when people have three hour videos on YouTube. So I just appreciate you watching in the first place. <sighs> Why does my avatar have the pink socks and nobody else does? I guess because, oh, it is a, you know what they do? They give your avatar the whole outfit during the ride. That's what it is. So I have the whole outfit. The cap is black. It's kind of hard to see the pink. So I may get away with it. Unless you do a, a close up. See, there you see the pink. Uh, uh. All right. <sighs> Elsie, thank you. Margaret, hello. I can't even see my avatar. Where am I? Thank God for this part. At least it's downhill here. Well, I'll see my avatar soon. It'll be the one in the back. I had the wrong view on. That helps. All right. I'm not rushing to get up to these people. Not at all.
some people are doing this on mountain bikes. God bless them. Yeah, somebody just said, why are we doing this again? I just did this several weeks ago. And I said to myself, self, you're not doing this again for a while. Well, I didn't think a while was this quick. I am prepared to get gloves again today. I have a thing for gloves apparently. When I do the Alp. So 677 people here. I guarantee you I will be in the 660s and up at least. And this is my eighth time up the Alp. I hate this part. It's like, why do they make it so hard for you to get to the hard part? I want to get, get, get me to the door of doom already. <clears throat> Keep cadence up past 75. That's a very good piece of advice, but I don't think I can do it. Some people said they didn't get credit for it, that they did it last night. It could be, because it's three days, so maybe they'll get credit for it today, after this stage. I hope so, because I would hate to have anybody have to do this over again, just to get credit for it. At least, I'm writing it and recording it. Is this on record, Linda? Oh, good, it's recording this time. How nice. I need a big sign. Are you recording?
<clears throat> 21 feet so far. There we are, the door of doom. All right. Not yet, it doesn't really technically start yet. You know what I want to do? I want to move this here. So we can see this part here. three feet I really have to try to conserve today because of what I'm doing hey Danielle I am because of what I'm doing in the next two weeks I mean I can sit with my legs up today but not tomorrow all right here we go here we go now if that thing doesn't come up, I'm going to move that thing over. There it is. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. All right. Oh. Not being a hero today. I am just finishing. That's it. Whatever it takes. I just dread seven to six. That is the worst segment mentally. Last time I did this, I took two breaks, three breaks, I don't remember. I may take that or more today, I don't care. The goal is to finish. Now see in the light, you can see the pink in the back on the cap. Well, I may wear it anyway, bite the bullet, but definitely black socks. No way I'm wearing pink socks. If I make it, if I get the kit, it's if. Big if. <clears throat> Only one hill. True. 
the chat is great on these tours. It keeps you going. However, usually when you get to the upper, you know, single digits, you will see the chat disappearing. <clears throat> if I can keep my heart rate around here, around the 130 mark, that would be good. I have a feeling when I get in the single digits, it'll go in the 140s, because I'll be really tired by then, but it would be nice to keep it in the 130s. Still in the big ring. I'm on the lowest gear in the back in the big ring though. Usually I end up jumping to the smaller ring around turn three or four. No, around, I'm sorry, turn 18, 17, around there somewhere. But the, like somebody said, keep it, keep the RPMs in the 70s if you can. That's what I'm trying to do. Last time I did this, I really tried to push it. Well, for me, I tried to push it here and did not go into my upper chain ring granny gear. Not today. Is there a cat F? If there is, count me in. Only 7.3 miles to go. That guy's in a, in a low gear. 45 RPM. That's going to be fun on the knees. 
not... Alright, there's the first turn. In the turns you get a little break. Thank God. You can have my pink socks. I don't like tacos either that much. I did lube my chain before I started, whether it needed it or not. I'm gonna pretend that it needed it, and I'm gonna pretend that that is really helping me to pedal more efficiently. You gotta go with what you got. While I am not good at hills, I do like the feeling of accomplishment after achieving to, to get to, to getting to the summit of the hill. I guess I'll be doing that three times by Sunday, at least hopefully. I'm a little concerned about tomorrow and the rain course. That's like doing an additional lead-in of, I don't know, five miles, I don't know exactly, and then climbing to Ventop minus three miles. <sighs> so it's like doing Ventop with a lead-in but you get a three mile discount at the top. I really did my homework on that one. I've been watching YouTube videos of people who have done Lorraine. It is an event only course, so it's not like you can get a badge for it, but it was in other tours. And it feels like it's like seven, eight, nine percent, which is not fun, but it is what it is. And then when you get to mile five, then it starts getting steeper. And that continues pretty much to mile one to go. And then with one to go, it's mostly downhill. There is one little uphill but with one mile to go, it's much easier. So it's miles five, four, three, and two that I'm 
not looking forward to. I have done vent top before. I swore I'd never do it again. So I'm almost doing it tomorrow. No, I will not be doing the additional three miles. You don't get the badge anyway. If you do the Lorraine course to Ventop, because the Lorraine course goes around and it does not go past the start of the KOM to Ventop. So if you're planning on doing Lorraine tomorrow and think that you can go the last three miles to get the vent top badge, you will not get the badge. Just telling you. rebounded off the arm of the treadmill and in. Nice. Wish I had that on camera. Seven miles to go. I know this ride, if I take it very easy, takes me about three hours and 15 minutes. Now today, since I'm starting out a little slower than usual, it may take me longer. So I'm gonna call it three and a half hours. It's 9.30 now, it's 25 elapsed minutes. So I think by 12.30 my time I'll finish. Writing myself a note, as you can see. Sometimes I have creative ideas while on the bike and I don't write them down or I don't remember them. So this time I brought a notepad with me because I get off the bike and I go, oh, that was a great idea. What was it? Well, hopefully now I'll know what it was if I can read my own writing. All right, so 
a little break so we switch back into normal gears oh. and then back down guy in front of me is just doing a smart look at him spin yeah he's doing 91 if he can keep that up he's in good shape to finish this 75 to 80 is spinning for me 80 is spinning for me Yeah, there are people who do this in under 30 minutes. Someone may have finished this already. I must say, I feel much better than I did last time. Last time, I remember I had very bad sleep the night before. Lack of sleep is my Achilles heel. I've slept well the last two nights, which is the most <laughs> greatest thing that could happen to me. And, uh, so I feel better. Woke up at 6.30 this morning. Got all prepared for this. I feel well prepared. And I'm hurting. But I was hurting really tired before, th before this. The last time I went up. 
but I am pacing myself better this time. So I don't know if I'm going to break any records of mine. The goal is to survive. <clears throat> 18. That person will go right by me. I just didn't want to lose my momentum. There we go. Well, I'm happy that the graph there is zero red. That's the idea. I hope there will be no red until the end, but we'll see. Oh, that was cool. Using the wave. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. Did I mention that was cool? Yes. Many people don't know what the wave is. It's the little hand on the bottom of your companion app that does that. There's nobody behind me so they can't see me. That was nice. trying to keep it RPMs in the 70s don't know if I'll be able to keep doing that I may have to go in the lower chain after the 17th turn coming up I am going to take a tiny stretch break here where it flattens out. Oh! Okay.
<clears throat> I heard, read, I'm not sure, but it's a great tactic that hill climbers supposedly use is you break down the climb into small segments. Like if I say I'm going to get up to those two trees on the left, that's my goal. And then I get past those and I go to the next goal. Or next, I don't know. I don't know if the word goal is the word next segment, but at least I achieved that. I mean, in this case, the word goal is deceptive because once you finish this goal, you have to set another one right away until the top. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm accepting that that's what I'm doing. Turn 16, 80 RPMs, 78. I am spinning my brains out. Well, I'll keep it. Here we go, trainer difficulty conversations. Everybody thinks that when you set your trainer difficulty lower, it means you have extra gears. That is not the case. For a good explanation of what it actually does, check out Sarah's channel. Everything is photogenic for her explanation of what trainer difficulty actually is. Eric Schlange also has articles on it on Zwift Insider. I'm not going to try to explain it. I do know, I will tell you that the pros set theirs at 30%. And one of the pros told me that they actually may make that a rule that everybody's trainers have to be at the same and they may make it 30%. So I don't know for sure. But anyway, check out those two channels for explanations, proper explanations of trainer difficulty. Missed that one. Here we go. All right. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not getting into it. Mine is set at 30 if you want to know. Mine is at 30. And if anybody has a problem with that, that's fine. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I figure if 30% is good enough for the pros, it's good enough for me.
my cough's child and I keep switching places. Hey, Cadman. Cadman Cycling, great channel. Check it out. He just became a Cad B. Very proud of him. He's worked hard towards it. Check out his rides and his channel. His rides are on his channel. This is what hill climbing does to my brain. I love when 7% feels like the flats. That means to me that I'm okay. And that's what I'm gonna count on tomorrow. Anytime it's below 10%, it's gonna be like the flats. stretch. Heidi Erickson, hi. Turn 15. Now I'll end up passing him and he'll end up passing me. Maybe. Now I'm staying behind him evidently.
don't know if I'm getting any draft benefit off mic, but it's nice to have someone in front of me to keep up with. That's what I'm hoping for tomorrow, that there'll be somebody in the back who's as slow as I am that we'll be able to help each other. Okay. He'll pass me very shortly. Still in the big ring. I'm surprised. That's what sleep does for me. Usually I'm in the small ring by now, for sure. I'm not trying to beat the guy behind me. He'll come up near me very soon, as soon as I get up and stretch or something. This is just keeping it in the 70s and taking advantage a little bit on the corners to shift up gear and get a few more feet in a little faster for what it's worth. Come on, Mike. Let's go. Well, if I take a break, he'll definitely go by me. I would love to get up this hill without taking a break one day. That is definitely something I'd like to do. It's a bucket list on Zwift. Here's 14. Heart rate has been really steady in the third 130s. That's where I hope to keep it. One third of the climbing's done. I see Mike's catching up. Come on, Mike, there you go. He was behind by 30 something, now he's up to 16. 15. Come on, Mike. He's getting me. He's catching me. He probably had a mechanical.
funny, somebody else says that. Ventu has much better scenery, so it helps the time go by better than this route. I agree. I swear I like the France courses. The scenery really makes it go by quickly. I agree with you, Tim. Any good recovery tips for today leading into tomorrow's ride? For me, it's going to be using a muscle gun. Lots of it and keeping my feet up. That seems to really help. So I'll keep my feet up and use the, the muscle massager gun and hopefully that'll help. <clears throat> These logs have been hanging over the road since day one. You think somebody would move them already. It's a safety hazard. <clears throat> he mics right behind me now. Here we go. He must keep having a mechanical. Because I know he's stronger than I am. Shoulders are hurting. Halfway there, mileage. Five miles. This is where I tell myself I can do five miles in my sleep. So, I'm not feeling too bad though. I am sure once we get into the single digits, I'm going to start feeling this. It's coming soon. Here we go. Mike's right behind me. Good. 
He'll probably pass me at this point. See somebody else stretch between seven to six. That is a mental, mental, unbelievable mental game. That is the worst. There you go, Mike. See, now I can do that. Nope. I hit the right on button by mistake. The right on button. That's right. probably lose Mike now because I'm going to stand up and give my butt a break because I can't, still can't get up and ride on the pedals. I did once, but my knees are worse than they used to be, so. Why do I get him in when I'm climbing the Alp? Oh, I'm not going to keep climbing the Alp in order to get my tissues in the bucket, that's for sure. There you go, sir. She's saying the climb starts immediately. I thought it starts sort of downtown and then goes backwards of RGV and then goes up. It does start soon after that though. Maybe that's what she's referring to. No, you know what? RGV would go left. To go up vent top, it goes straight. That's, it does start. Almost immediately, she's right. a break. I don't blame her. If you need to take a break, you can. You can get off the bike. Nothing will change. 
don't touch anything. Get off the bike and not touching nothing. Don't touch your mouse, don't touch anything. And your avatar will stay right where it is, as long as you don't lose internet, which you shouldn't if you've been good all along. Screenshots, yes. It's a good idea. I have a few, but that's part of the thing about being a YouTuber with Zwift is for the thumbnails. I have to remember to take some screenshots for the thumbnails. So. Sometimes I don't, and then I have to just take it out of the video, do a still, but sometimes you can get good screenshots like that. Like maybe I'll use that one. There you go. That's probably the one I'll use. I believe I'm still in the big ring. That is, this is a first. Going to turn 11. Definitely a first. the sections where it's going to be 12 to 14 percent continually like I think there's part of that in, in between seven to six I may be forced to go in the lower ring but I don't know
I have not seen the Yeti yet in the seven times I've been up here. There's a Yeti tree that everybody thinks is the Yeti, but it's not. Wow, she can ride. That person said they can ride three plus hours without brakes. Wow. That's fantastic. <clears throat> Actually, what it could do is go to Zwifters, click on the person. I have to do it that way instead of messing with the mouse. I always forget that. You can do it from the companion app. You go into Zwifters, and if the person is in your immediate vicinity, you can click on them, then go to their profile, and you can give them the right arm from their profile, and then go back to map to continue with your suffering. I think I already gave her a right arm. Yes, I did. Turn 11. advantage of the flat parts and stretch
feeling like maybe I should take an energy gel and maybe I should take one of the gross cola ones. It tastes like grass and dirt combined with feta cheese. Now, tofu. But I do have Altoids handy this time. So maybe it will be okay. Not open. Oops. As the most disgusting energy gel ever. <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> Two outdoors. If it, it'll help me, I'll suffer through it. Nope. Well, I must say the Altoids really helped. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the rest of these disgusting things. So, now I know I can use them at least, not waste them. Not even near. Well, this is certainly an interesting tactic I may use tomorrow. This is the first time, as I've said repeatedly, that I am in into the single digits without going into the lower chain ring. It's also, I think, the first time I've gone into the single digits without taking a break. I don't count standing up and stretching and taking a break. I mean like getting off the bike and walking around. So that'd be great if I could finish this without taking a break, but I'm not gonna count on it. But what I'm thinking is tomorrow, I'm just gonna keep it 
in the big ring, granny gear in the back, see what happens for as long as I can. Of course, tomorrow the goal is to finish. Tomorrow's going to be brutal. I'm really glad they put Climber's Gambit on Sunday because at least there's some flat parts in it. Although the back way up to the radio tower is not fun. But at least you don't have to do the radio tower itself. I'm glad they put that one last because of the three that'll be the easiest for me. Seven percent flat. Thank you. <laughs> it's good when you feel like seven percent is flat. Oh, I may get to level 42 by the end of Raw for Rising. I didn't realize I was that far through. That's neat. Well, if I keep getting 30 XP at every turn or whatever, every mile, it's every mile, I might. I'm not in any hurry to make it up through the levels because I'd like to have the same thing with the Tron bike. The joy is in the journey. I'm not in any hurry to get to 50 because after 50 there's nothing else to shoot for yet. Hopefully Eric Min soon there will be. mouth is all sticky.
There's the Yeti tree that is not the Yeti. Nine to eight. See, it's smart. Take breaks. Take breaks if you need to. Doesn't matter. The goal is to finish. Okay, trying to get the map on the companion app to match the map there. You give me a better perspective if I look down where I'm at. <coughs> nope, hit the rim though. Six fifteen out of six seventy seven. Okay. <clears throat> well, I haven't taken a break yet, so maybe that will come. The hill looks so steep from here. It's one pedal stroke at a time. That's all we can do.
agree. Rafa should send us all a free shirt for completing this. <laughs> yeah. Danielle, I agree. We are advertising for them the whole ride. But if they send us a shirt, it'll have pink in it. That's their colors, pink and black. So, I'm not that concerned about getting a shirt. It was steep, I wasn't wrong. At least my heart rate has stayed right where I want it so far. That is a very good thing. My RPMs are dropping. I can see that, so I know I'm getting fatigued. 8, 9%, I was keeping it like 75, and now I see it's dropping to closer to 70, unless I consciously look at it. That cis gel made my lips so sticky. It's like I dumped my mouth into a thing of sugar. Oh well, I think it helped with energy. So I'll bite the bullet and deal with it. Eight to seven. That's a long one. The chat is very quiet. Very quiet.
Okay, the tents are coming up. Usually by this time I am dying. I'm tired, but I'm not dying. My arms are tired. All right, coming up on the dreaded seven to six. This is mind over matter, this part. This is just, put your mind on something else and go, or get in a, zoom in on, focus on something in front of you and go. This is where I may end up having to take a break. Not even close. Look at how long that line is. 
on the screen to the right compared to the other ones and you don't even see the end of it. Under three miles to go. About a thousand more feet, maybe 1,300 feet more to go. People are taking breaks, there's no shame in that. Still can't see the end of it on the map on the right. That section where the snow wall comes up, that plays with my head every time. I don't know why, it's just, it feels like you're trapped in there and you're never gonna get out of that snow wall or something. I'm not trying to catch this guy, I'm just trying to keep my cadence steady. Definitely dropping in cadence. Well, maybe I'll just save it for these steep sections and pick it up when it's at nine or eight. Do it that way. I'll try that. Still can't see the end of it in the screen.
now it's pretty straight after this curve to the end of this to six. I mean, it's a little curvy, but on the map it looks straight. Wish I could stand up and pedal. Maybe one day. Two and a half miles, that's it. Come on, Carl. Come on, Carl King. Take a break and then kill it. He'll take a break and then fly past me, I'm pretty sure. All right, at least now we can see the six on the screen. That's helpful mentally. Are tired. I think from pushing, and then you have to support your body every time you do that, you know. So I think your arms get tired. I think I'm going to just zone in on my saddle. Not look at anything, just zone in on my saddle on the screen. While I'm looking at other things on the screen. But when I'm not looking at other things on the screen, I'm zoning in on my saddle. And at least peripherally, I can see things going by me and I feel like I'm going forward. I used to use that when I was running. 
I used to look at the ground so that I could see things going by me so mentally I knew I was making progress. a weird twinge in my shoulder. Hey, the moose is catching up to me. The moose took a break and the moose is coming back stronger. Almost at the end of turn six. Almost at the end of six. Almost at turn six. I am tired. I am not hurting too badly. Way long, way long.
That noise is because I'm in the I'm crossed. Biggest in ring in the front and biggest in the back. I know it stretches the chain out. I don't care. I'll worry about that later. Two miles to go. When you can see the building at the top, it makes you feel like, wow, I'm almost there. But it's deceptive. Still, mentally, you know that you finished all these other turns. Six eleven. Wow. All right. Five to four is a nice short one. not a Yeti. What is that? It's a mountain lion or something. I never saw them before. I'm sure they've been there all along. I just never noticed them. Thousand feet, thousand feet left.
The heart rate is fantastic. This is really good. The knees, not so fantastic feeling. It's just a dull pain, so I know it's muscles, you know. It's not one of those sharp, I pulled something pains. On this far I'm not getting off the bike yet I'm not getting off the bike and I'm not going into the lower ring I'm done hold on that's that's it we're not getting off the bike we may stretch on the bike but we're not literally unclipping and getting off the bike and we are not going into the small ring twinge shoulder I'm going to do this. This is the first time, if I can do this, this will be the first time ever, well, in seven attempts, and since I've been on Zwift, that I've gone up in the big ring, and that I have not gotten off the bike to take a break. If I can keep doing what I'm doing. Here's turn four. Phil love it. Bike racing without mercy. Thank you, Phil. I know I've said it a million times, but Phil was the one who encouraged me to start this channel. We went back and forth on Instagram chat several times. Also, Scott Hewish of Com Hunt TV on on YouTube. Scott made the logo that you see Zwifting with Granny and Coach Morgan on the bottom of each thumbnail. He's a graphic designer and Phil is just a fantastic human being. There's not a mean bone in his body. <coughs> and he just because of the arthritis and everything and how Swift has really changed my life so that I can feel better off the bike. Usually after riding, he was the one who said, Linda, you gotta, you gotta do a channel. You gotta do a channel. So I did a channel. And then I, but I didn't have the right computer for it to do the screen thing that you see me here. So I put out on Facebook if anyone had a used computer with a graphics card that was decent. Jim Spalos from ConvexServe Facebook messaged me. The first tower was fantastic. He put it together out of some used parts and it was great. 
but when I used the OBS software with it, it couldn't handle it. Jim said, well, we have to fix that. And he gave me a gaming computer to die for, which is what I'm using now, which is why my graphics are so great. I only use it for Zwift. I don't use it for anything else. I don't even up upload my videos on it. I have another computer for that. But I just use it for Zwift. One and a half miles to go. Look at that, there's the sonar things, whatever they're called, the towers. Cell towers, I don't know. Towers for satellites, I guess. Three to two is a bear. Well, four to three, no, no, I'm wrong. Four to three I'm on now, and it does stop at that next V. Then it becomes three. Three to two is short. Now I'm hurting. I don't want to admit it, but I'm I'm fine. I am fine. I am fine. RPMs are really going down now. 
gotta keep an eye on that. But actually, the slower I go, the harder it will be on my knees. You got this, Linda. Don't worry about it. You just keep doing what you're doing. You got this. One pedal stroke in front of the other. That's all I got to do. Uh, a 7% break. When I get to three, I just have to give my knees a momentary break. are tired. They do not want to pedal. Come on, Linda. Come on. Get the RPMs up.
610. Holy crap. One mile to go. One mile. And we're in the 3000s. So it's only like 600 feet, I think, something like that. Got to keep doing what I'm doing. Just got to focus. Less than a mile. My shoulders really hurt. I didn't change the position on the bike at all. I hope they're, well, they're gonna, they're gonna hurt tomorrow if they hurt today, that's for sure. Well, it is what it is. I may just put it in this small ring tomorrow and give myself a break. Because at least if I get to the top without getting off this bike, or without <coughs> moving it into the lower chain ring, chain ring, I will have accomplished a big feat for me. So I'll give myself a break tomorrow. All right. Two to one, kind of long. Catching up on this F. Barney person in front of me. Uh, no. I mean, it would be nice to try to shoot for beating someone. It would take my mind off the pain. I am catching up to them, but. <clears throat> oh, they're stopped. They're taking a break. Okay, so that doesn't really count for me then. 
That's why. Well, you're taking a much deserved break, I am sure. Fred Barney. Right on, sir. I wonder if that's his real name or if he took that off the Flintstones. If I'm below 9, I'm going to try to keep it in the mid-70s. Okay, Fred's back on his bike again. And he's pushing to catch up. I'd like to get there ahead of him. I might. Gives me a, something to shoot for anyway. Well, I will say that that disgusting tasting cis gel must have definitely helped. It's cola. What is it? It's cola with 75 milligrams of caffeine. It tastes gross, but apparently it works.
I don't know if this is going to be a PR for the Alpine. I can't tell by that time. I'll have to check Strava afterwards. That would be nice. We'll see. Even if it's not, it's a personal win for me because I didn't get off the bike and I didn't go in the lower gear. I know you're probably tired of hearing about that, but you have no idea how excited I am that I achieved that. Well, he didn't achieve it yet. Half a mile. Keep spinning. This is for me. For it's for me. This is spinning. <clears throat> Fred Barney's catching up on me. Yeah, he is. He is catching up on me. Oh, well. Yeah, he's, he's jamming. He's jamming. You go, Fred. That's how many times have other people been a carrot for me. I'm glad to be a carrot for somebody else. I'm going to try to beat Fred. He is gaining. Holy crap. He's pushing.
Gotta bring the heart rate down. I think I'll get him. We are talking in feet now. Yes, we do it. Yes, we do. Takes forever till you see that arch. You think when you see the runners, oh, I'm there. No, not there. Come on, I want another pair of gloves. Because five pairs of gloves is not enough. Come on, where's that banner? There we are. Yeah. Come on. I am thrilled. I am thrilled. Big ring all the way. Did not have to unclip and get off the bike once. First ever. Wow. I am happy. 608th place. All right. Let's see. Oh, good, another helmet. Because I didn't have enough helmets. Thank goodness. And I unlocked level 42 anyway that's it for today i will see you folks tomorrow thank you for being here with me please like and subscribe subscribe hit the bell button so you see when other videos come out and i'm gonna go sit down with my legs up thank you everybody for sharing in this personal victory for me today Thank you. Take care, everybody. I'll see you.